Airfuse. Today we're going to show you a demonstration using our TFE, which is an accelerator that you can add to the structural to speed up your times and also make it stronger uh, a lot quicker. As you can see, we got some snow last night, so we're sitting around zero degrees right now. The TF Heat Low Temperature Accelerator is a powdered product that is sold separately and it's mixed directly into the TF structural during the mixing point. So its main use is to speed up the cure time of the TF structural. You'll typically see this when you're installing the structural in colder environments, as well as when you're looking for a fast return to service on a sidewalk, stair set, driveway, or somewhere where you're doing work in a parkade or roadway where you need vehicles back on it right away. So today we're mixing up uh, two different samples, one without TF heat and one with TF heat to show you the differences in cure time and strength. You can see we've trialed it kind of from a feather edge to about an inch, inch and a half in its thickest place. And this is going to show you the differences in cure time when the structural is a lot thicker and a lot thinner. It will cure faster in thicker volumes. The TF heat is generally used in colder weather, so anything below about 10 degrees Celsius especially when you're doing thinner applications. And you're really gonna to wanna to pay attention to the substrate temperature more so than the ambient temperature. Uh, the heat will accelerate the cure. So as a good rule of thumb, one full cup of heat, about eight ounces per bag of TF structural is gonna rapidly increase that set time. So there's a lot of factors that determine how much you're gonna need. Um, it's best to decide when you're on your job site Add a little bit, see what kind of a difference it makes, and then go from there whether you reduce or increase the amount you add. So you just dump the powder right into your bucket as you're mixing. You're going to want to mix that up for a good 30 to 45 seconds to make sure it's evenly distributed. We made our next mix using the TF heat. The time now is 10.58. And after you have added the heat to the mix, it is important to get the product out of the pail as soon as possible as it does cure a lot faster in thicker volumes. The two installs that we did. This one here has no heat in it. This one here has heat and we're sitting at about zero degrees. I want to show you here uh, the thinner applications are a lot cooler so you can see it's two to three degrees Celsius at the thin applications and the center of this one is already up to about 14 degrees. Uh, that was the install not using the accelerator, the heat. Uh, the one that we put the heat in is at 4 degrees in the thinner area, but it's already up to 35 degrees Celsius in the middle. So you can see the impact that adding that TF accelerator to the product will have. So here we are at 11.12. This is only about 15 minutes after we have mixed this product, and we're driving a half-ton truck right up on top of it. But what's going to be more impressive at 11.18, so 20 minutes after we have mixed the product, we have a fully loaded 4,500 pound forklift, uh, a full pallet of the TF structural which weighs 2,000 pounds, driving up over the thin areas, right up on top of the, the thick area. So there you have it, 20 minutes after we've installed this product, it's strong enough to support all of that weight uh, right on top of it. And this is a good demonstration of what that TF heat can do to the structural if you are trying to get an area set up very quickly for a return to service with vehicles, etc. And as you can see right here, even the very thinnest areas that were driven on 20 minutes after install don't have any marks on them. And for comparison, the, the patch we did here that doesn't contain any of the heat is still very, very soft and easily pliable. It's been about 30, 35 minutes since we installed these patches. Uh, because it's just a demo to show you the heat, we're gonna remove them. 30 minutes after install, it's still very easy to shovel up the product without the TF heat, um, as it is a very cold substrate, but again, as you can see, the strength the TF heat will add. I need a Hilti 1500 jackhammer to remove this product only 30 minutes after I mixed it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and the demonstration and what the TF heat is capable of doing for the TF structural. If you do have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below or contact Terrafuse directly. Thanks for watching.